Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just going to nip in here, can't resist. Nothing to do with what I'm actually doing. Just thought it might have some stuff in it. Um, I'll have that. And that. And that. There's a key. Why is there a key? Activation of the radio. Not so successful. Right. Can I pick that up? No. Tires? No. I don't really like the noise in here very much. Something a bit weird about it. Locker. Lock to use key. Yes. <gasps> Stuff! Take all! Is there anything in here as well? Yes, there is. This was a good diversion. I'm very happy. Back into the mojo. Great. Now. Where am I going? Over here. I'm very glad I looked. Absolutely no idea what it meant by skydiving. Do people skydive around here? I suppose they might do. Wardrobe? Ooh. Wardrobe? Ooh. I can see people. There are two people over there. They look very similar to each other. And then I'm sure I also saw we just nip through this door. Another person over here. Could be wrong. Can't see anybody now. I think there was, though. That's the last thing I need, is a load of identical people. Oh, there are. There we go. Ow! Ow! Uh, uh, there was no need for that. Ow! I love the way that they didn't even react. Oh, I'm going to have to take something now, aren't I? Right. Let's have a look. What could I eat? Some barrel cactus fruit. Or some crispy squirrel bits. Or some coyote. Oh, shall I eat the coyotes that I just... Uh, just shot. Oh, and the geckos. There we go. And some dirty water. And uh, maybe some prickly pear fruit. And maybe some of that. There we go. As you can see, I'm getting healthier. There we go. Now that was very horrible. I think that we ought to... <laughs> Crispy Squirrel Bits has worn off. I think we ought to talk about what you just did to me. Is there something else on the ground down there? But then again, he's standing right next to it. Open explosives crate. What are you... What are you? Who are you and what are you doing? I don't like you. You just blew up and blew my flipping limbs off. Read note. Maybe I don't want to read the note. Maybe I should teach myself to do the march of the chairs. <sighs> right. Well, I don't know what... I, <laughs> I was right. I was right. I love the way that you don't react at all. It's very bad. Now, I'm a bit confused because now I have absolutely no idea where I was going. I think I've gone the wrong way here. Let's just have a look on the old map. Right, I am going kind of notionally the right way. I see you, gecko, because that is, isn't it, a gecko? Was a gecko. Oh, still is a gecko. That's annoying. They look like Pokemon. Your weapon is in poor condition. What, already? Oh, it was always rubbish to begin with. Did you see how long it took me to sort it out there? Stop with the drama, please. Just stop with the drama. I've already had one limb blown off. I haven't even done anything yet. Ah, oh, there's a path over there. Oh, there's a person over there. Would that be her? Hello. Right, watch it, dog. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. Just as well. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Cooking? <laughs> Yay! Right, campfire. Activate campfire. Here we go. 
Ooh, gecko steak. Healing powder. Hey, this is awesome. How many? As many as I possibly can manage. I activated the campfire. But the campfire isn't actually burning. Hey, that's Ooh. not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. No, definitely. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Right, come on then. Let's go on this woman's instructions. She seems reasonably sort of trustable. Have I already looked through here? Yes, I have. I recognise that water pump now. Well, let's go back into town. I have to say, I do feel slightly safer here than I did in the previous apocalypse. I also like the sky more. <laughs> it's lovely. I know that the sky being lovely does not make any difference when you're having your legs blown off by a landmine or being bitten in the face by a whatever, but at least it's something to look at. I'm not sure quite how far away from town I am. Oh, I'm not very at all. Here we go. Not got any sense of distance so far. Not been far enough. I do wish you could pick these. <laughs> I really want to pick them. I reckon I could probably also do with a rest. Seem to think. Oh, sorry, Pete. I'll um, I'll, I'll sleep in this one then. <laughs> sorry about that. Didn't realise you were in here. <laughs> Never mind, eh? I'm sure he won't mind if I have the other bed. Don't know why he didn't choose the other bed. The other bed's bigger. There we go. I'm assuming that we all just sleep in here. Generally. There we go. Lovely. Right. Down the pub. I came out the wrong door. Terrible waste of electricity, that. You're in a nuclear apocalypse. And you've got stupid neon signs. It's not good. Hello! I've been sent to meet somebody. I like your jukebox. Your jukebox is like my jukebox in uh, in The Sims. It's lovely. In fact, I think it's better than my jukebox in The Sims. I'd really like one of those. In real life, that is. Be good. Right. Gentlemen's toilets. That's not really what I want, is it? Oh, I can't steal things. That'd be, that'd be nasty. Ooh! Nice. Who's speaking to me? Oh, hello. If you don't hand Ringo over soon. I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Oh, are you indeed? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Morning. <laughs> Morning, I like you. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Show me what you have for sale. I've got loads of stuff. I'm sure I've got something you like. I don't doubt it. If what you've got begins with bullets and ends with bullets. Now, I don't want cleaner. That's of no use to me at all. BB gun's probably not of much use to me, to be fair. Poison gland? I will get rid of that. Barrel cactus fruit? Might as well. You can have two of the baseball gloves. Oh no, you can't. You can have all of them. Um, you can have all my tin cans. And you can have the detergent. And then you can have all the coffee mugs and the pot and the coyote hide and the cups. And then after that it starts getting a bit more difficult because I don't know. Blimey, they're worth an awful lot of money. Oh well, can't argue. Because is glass very valuable or something? Uh, after this, I don't really know, you see. Blimey, they are valuable. Um, 
I've got very distracted. I don't really know what weapons are good weapons. So I'm going to have to do some investigations on that. Hmm. wonder if that's any better than what I'm already. You can have one of the new Coca-Cola trucks. You can have the paint gun and the paperweight and the pencil and the plunger. Can't have everything beginning with P though. You can have every variety of destroyed book. Tyrion, yes, you can have those. Wild horse nettle. I bet that's used for something. I wonder what. That's the problem, isn't it? It's the not knowing. Now, in terms of weapons and stuff, have you got any? Do you just sell like food? Because if you sell food, that that's fine by me. Got any stim packs? No. We've got some water. I'll have the water. Sunset sarsaparilla seems to be an alternative to stim packs, so we'll have that as well. Salesman Weekly. I don't think I've got a copy of Salesman Weekly. Oh, I have. Oh, I have got a copy of Salesman Weekly, right. Meeting People. Have I got Meeting People? No, I'll have that then. I've got Fixing Things. Okay. For the time being, I will accept. Thanks. You're welcome. What was that all about, incidentally? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Whoops. Did they come after him? I bet they did. Oh no! Ghost Town gunfight! That sounds like everything I'm bad at. Um... Offer to help Ringo deal with the powder... Hang on a minute, they just trying to blow my leg off. Yes, I absolutely will offer. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. I'm going to sort them out. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Mm -hmm. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. I'll tell you now. They're all dead. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. I will be dealing with that now. All right. However, if I help him, I expect reward. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. That'll do. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. I've got a lot of bullets. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Choices. Choices. <laughs> anyway, I'm also trying to track down people who attacked me. It's a man wearing a tablecloth who tried to bury me. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. I'm sure I could fix your radio at some point. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Tablecloth. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Hmm. Go on. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Nature, eh? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Noted. Right, do you want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. I bet he isn't. Do you know the robot that rescued me? It's got a very nice house with fairy lights. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Come on, I can't imagine it coming in and having a drink. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. 
I find it all very creepy. Basically, I can't trust anybody at all. Let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Um, what else? No. Be careful out there. Let's not, not talk about anything else. Can't be bothered. I want to level up. Right. The question is, what do I want to level up? Well, repair is always a good thing. And so is... Well, lot picking is also... If I got my lot picking to 25, but then again, my medicine... Hmm. Not really used energy weapons, but... Oh, I don't know. I never know. I think I might go with survival. Survival sounds good to me. There we go. Oh, I get a perk as well. Black Widow. Gives me six arms. Cherchez la femme. Gives me... Not quite sure what that's about. Hunter. You get to stand on a gecko's head. Intense training. I can put a single point into any of my special attributes. Rapid reload. Sounds like my kind of thing. Retention. The bonuses granted by skill magazines last three times as long. And Swift Learner. Hmm. I think I might go with Intense Training. Now the question is, which one do I want to put it in? That's the problem, isn't it? I could carry more. Or I could have an Explosives, Lockpick and Energy Weapons thing. Or more health. Let's go with more health. You can never have too much health. Not in my experience, anyway. Now, oh, sorry, I appear to be in your storeroom. Sorry about that. I'll um, I'll get out. Have a look in there later when she's not looking. What the hell is your problem? Uh, excuse me. What do you want? I'm sorry. What do you want? He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Would it? Really? Is that so? I'm not taking over the town with you. I don't like your face. There's a lot of running around going on. Are we all competing for some sort of... Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. That's very kind of you. If you subscribe, then you might win some prizes. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. More than likely. What's so special about them, hey? 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 I had to make sure of your disposition. There's a lot of jumpy folks out there that'll shoot a man as soon as talk to him. Now that we're conversing, though, I can tell you what I know about those caps. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Really? Treasure? What kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. Where can I find more of these caps, sir? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus who does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. Jenny likes treasure. Who's Festus? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. I think he was from the Adams family, wasn't he? <laughs> Do you collect these caps as well? You're not having mine. Nah, I gave it up years ago too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. <laughs> There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Mm, treasure. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, 
Watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. I'm not talking about Nintendo stars. That would be awful. Huh? You want to talk some more? Yeah, I do, actually. Because you talked about selling stuff. Oh, that's right. Here, let me show you what I've got on hand. Now, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Because I've got a little tiny bit of money. Oh, he's got a frag grenade. But look how expensive it is. I love frag grenades. They're my favourite thing in the whole world. Uh, I'll take those. And I'm not sure whether I've got anything that uses anything else. For some reason I have the cases for some weapons. I'm not quite sure whether that's a good thing or not. Weird. Don't really know. Don't really know at the moment. Do you want a rolling pin? Wasteland Wanderer outfit. I'm really going to have to check out what it is that I'm carrying, wearing, using, etc. Now, let's, uh, meeting people, speech plus ten. I did notice, though, because I'm not completely stupid, that it said that it had some sort of timed effect, I think? Is that right? Not really sure. I've just realised I'm carrying eleven bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. Does that mean that Alan Marks is going to track me down and try and kill me? Because it ain't going to happen, mate. Hmm... This is all starting to feel a bit worrying. I don't know where you think you're going. Right. Ugh! Get away from me, dust. Okay, so. Question is then, what next? Do I want to off to help Ringo? Or do I want to find the men who tried to kill me? I know which one would be far more fun. <laughs> Let's go off and help Ringo. If I do that, people might like me more. And they might give me discounts. And they might give me stars. And if they give me stars, I might get treasure. That's very logical thinking, isn't it? I'm seeing a vending machine. Vending machine. <laughs> Take a vending machine. Oh, God, what if Alan Marks heard me? Oh, that'd be terrible. Right. Ringo is in here, I reckon. I think he's hanging about. So, oh, look at that lovely, lovely vending machine. You come back in the next episode when I will have a chat with Ringo and hope that a man called Alan Marks doesn't shoot me in the back of the legs. Gameplay Jenny